we're expecting mostly sunny skies as we head into the afternoon of your Sunday, but still got some rain to contend with right now. And some cooler weather than we've been used to the last few weeks, it feels like. Temperatures are sitting in the mid 60s for most of North Texas. You've got Greenville sitting at 70 degrees right now, getting a little bit of a break from some of that steadier rain. But the clouds and the rain kept those temperatures in the 60s pretty much all day. And it's still ongoing right now, though it, it has lightened up. This was all caused by a low pressure system kind of tracking across the state. That gives us the lift that we need for the showers and the storms. And we already had all of the moisture around. Remember earlier in the week when it was warm and muggy? Well, that's all the moisture that we had for those showers and storms. But it is beginning to weaken. And we could use a break after all the rain we, we've seen over the last 24 to 36 hours. A lot of people complaining that they needed the rain. Well, now you got it, and now we need a little time to dry out. In fact, when we kind of just go through parts of North Texas and sort of query what sort of rainfall amounts we're looking at, I mean, in that 820 loop in Tarrant County, this is radar estimated rainfall totals over four inches of rain just in the last 36 hours, really. Now, in Dallas County, it looks like we're closer to that two and a half to three inch range as far as the rainfall accumulations are concerned. And I will say this over into Kaufman County, where we had some of those stronger storms earlier today. And we're going to talk about those storms a little later on, but those stronger storms really produced a lot of rain over a short period of time. So we're kind of closer to three, three and a half inches of rain over toward Rosser, Kemp, and then up toward Terrell as well. Out to the west, though, remember that strong line of storms that we were tracking yesterday evening, and they sort of weakened as they got closer to Tarrant County and to Dallas County? Well, they produced a tremendous amount of rainfall, so it looks like there we're looking at five plus inches of rain accumulating just in the last 36 hours. So today, officially at DFW Airport, and this will probably get updated because still dealing with rain right now, but just over two and a half inches of rainfall, so we're in the positive for the month, we're in the positive for the year. We've seen more than 21 inches of rain so far this year, which is good, especially when you consider just how dry it's going to get as we head into the summer. So this low pressure system continues to push off to the east, which means the rain gradually winds down. I think a few showers will be around tomorrow morning, but then as we head into tomorrow afternoon, not only do we get rid of the rain, but we get rid of the clouds as well. And then this just sets us up for a beautiful work week. We're going to have mostly sunny skies and temperatures are going to be getting into the 80s and 90s. Tomorrow, I think while we start off with some clouds and temperatures in the 60s, we're up to 80 degrees by midday and then we're topping out around 84 degrees with all of that sunshine in the afternoon. Northwest winds for tomorrow, they gradually begin to transition back to the southeast as we head into Monday. So partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies in the upper 80s for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then back into the low 90s by Thursday of next week.